One of San Antonio's iconic selfie stop destinations, the I Love Taco So Much wall has not only provided a social media hotspot for its visitors, but has also sparked a chain reaction of charity endeavors throughout the state of Texas. It has inspired humanitarians and copycats alike, becoming an integral part of the fabric of the city of San Antonio. One July afternoon, we sat down with the wall's designer, Luis Munoz, to discuss his creation, discovering that he is not only a creative inspiration, but also living proof of the American dream and a dedicated philanthropist whose story begs to be told. I was born, originally I was born in uh, Central America in Guatemala. Okay. And uh, I was born and raised in Guatemala, and at one point, uh, due to political circumstance in my country, uh, we moved here with political asylum to the United States. I was about seven or eight years old when I, when I first landed in San Antonio. Uh, like I said, it wasn't under the best circumstances, but uh, we made the best of it once we got here. When we first came here, uh, my grandparents had already come to the United States for the same reason. Pretty much during the 80s, late 80s, a lot of people from you know, South and Central American countries had fled. So my grandparents were already in San Antonio and we followed them uh, about a year or two later after they had gotten here. Uh, I didn't know anything about San Antonio. I didn't know anything about the Alamo. I didn't even know how to speak English when I got here. I knew like two words, like dog and cat maybe. When I first got to the United States, people in San Antonio would surprise you. Speaking Spanish was not cool, man. And it wasn't cool with the American people and it wasn't cool with the Mexicans from here. So we were getting it on both sides because the Mexican people who lived here didn't speak Spanish and they didn't want us to speak Spanish and the Americans didn't want us to speak Spanish because we're from another country and they didn't speak Spanish. Um, coming here without knowing the language, without knowing the culture, I mean it, it was the textbook definition of culture shock. Didn't know anything about the culture, didn't know anything about the city, didn't know the language, didn't know anyone. Um, I would say that it's it was um, one of the roughest periods of my life, uh, but at the same time, it was what helped me, you know, become who I am today. There are many things that I saw when I was a kid that motivated me. I can tell you about seeing kids dying on the street in Guatemala. You know, you saw kids starving to death. When I came to the United States, I can tell you there's this one time, and again, there was many. Some I share, some I don't, but I can tell you the one that sticks out in my mind. When I was in sixth, seventh grade, I was playing football in middle school. And, you know, my, my family, like I said, was going through a lot of financial problems. We didn't really have a lot of money, if any at all. And the day that I was going to take the pictures for the football year, you know, the, the football picture with the team, I knew that I had to take $7 to school. I didn't have the money. And I didn't want to ask my parents because I knew that they were struggling, man. And I just, if I told that story to my parents, which I never have, they'd probably say, we would have given you that. But I didn't want to go there. I didn't want to even ask them. So instead of being embarrassed, I pretended like I was sick that day. Um, and I didn't go to school. So I'm not in that picture. But when I came out of that, I came out with the feeling that, number one, I would never feel that way again, ever. That I was done with that. And two, that as soon as I was able to, I would help as many kids and as many people as I could when they were going through days like that, so they didn't have to feel that way. Luis's past has impacted his present and future charitable endeavors. Nowhere is this more evident than the iconic Taco Wall. The Taco Wall had several charities attached to it. The biggest one would have been Brighton, the Brighton School, uh, which helps you know young children. Uh, the Spurs Wall, I attached CASA to it, which is Child Advocates of San Antonio. Uh, very proud of that. And anything that I do where I can, I try to get in charities involved if nothing else for awareness, because it might not be the money I'm giving them or I'm raising, but there could be somebody watching saying, oh, you know what, I didn't know about that charity, so I'm donating my time or my money to them. And, and that's really all I try to do. I, I find it that my rule in life is this, the more I succeed, if you could call it that, the more I have to give back. And the more I get, the more I have to give back, period. And, and that's my rule in life, man. And uh, so far it's worked out for me, thank God. And I, I would do it anyhow, even if it didn't work out for me.